Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity uh, to be here in this conference and uh, to allow me to speak. So first, I would like to convey my congratulations uh, to conference organizers for selecting such interesting theme, uh, which is related to AI and also connected with uh, science, management and technology. So this actually, AI is interdisciplinary, like uh, these days, uh, uh, it is very difficult to find uh, separate areas like old time we used to have electrical engineering computer science mechanical engineering all they were be separated but these days they are mixing to each other and here i have seen uh, this is one step forward mixing so science management and technology all are mixing with ai artificial intelligence so when actually you are combining ai with science uh, management and technology then there are certain issues because uh, in science we have different kind of data, in management we have different kind of data, technology we have different kind of data. So when we put them together, then actually uh, we have to take care of the data. So that is important part. So for example, like uh, we talk about uh, data science, but when you put, uh, when you use AI uh, in medical technology, then we have to think about science of data how this data has been generated, from where it has been obtained. Like we do analysis of electrocardiogram, ECG signals to understand the heart. We are doing analysis and processing of electroencephalogram, EEG to understand the brain. So actually one of the major limitation of the AI is missing the system from which data is generated. For AI, data is coming from here, data is coming from here, both are same. But that both are, systems are not same. So that actually when you use AI uh, with the real life applications, then inclusion of system is also very important part. And second part is actually uh, wearable devices, like uh, when you use AI in technology. So actually, for example, disease diagnosis, disease doesn't see whether you are actually, you are well qualified or you are engineer, you are doctor or you are uh, IPS officer for every disease, for disease, everyone is same. So our technology should be like that. It can be used by anyone. So that actually like uh, we should also, like somebody is working in the field in rural areas. So they should also use this technology. So in order to implement such technologies, this wearable actually uh, devices also needs to be implemented so that common people can wear them and they can use this technology. Third important part is actually uh, this, we are doing machine learning AI without understanding nature of the data. So in actually, uh, data when you see uh, in any form of the data, which can be represented as a sum of two components. One is deterministic and second one is stochastic. So like uh, uh, we so also should see uh, what kind of actually, uh, what kind of data, uh, which nature of the data we are processing. So machine learning should also take care of the, uh, the nature of the data which you are analyzing, whether it is deterministic, whether it is stochastic or whether it is a mixture of both. So this actually uh, like uh, AI, uh, another point is uh, uh, parsimony principle. So like uh, uh, how many neuron models are required, uh, people don't know. Uh, how many uh, neurons are required, how, how many features are required. So actually parsimony principle says that when you model anything, uh, you should know its requ requirement, its order. Uh, how many features are required that. For example, if you need four chapati, then you should not ask for five. So this is parsimony principle. Similarly, whatever is the requirement of your modeling, you should not use more than that. So that also actually we need to be considered uh, in this AI based uh, processing. So I'm very actually uh, uh, happy to see that actually this uh, one is the interdisciplinary nature of the research or uh, this conference uh, has that research inter interdisciplinary nature. And second one is actually when you do impactful work, uh, that is also done by the scale like uh, Aryabhatta uh, invented zero in very old time, but today it has very good use in computing systems. So this actually AI has a good scalability, like you have science, management, technology, so whatever this algorithms will be presented here, you can touch many areas. It can go to science, it can go to management, it can go to technology. So scalability is also there, interdisciplinary nature of the conference is also there. So I'm sure actually this uh, conference is going to be very useful for your research. You will learn many algorithms, you will learn, you will see, get many experimental results, you will uh, understand insight of these results. So use this as an opportunity and uh, it will be very useful for your career. With that, I wish you all the best for success of this conference. Thank you.